What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another video. In this one, after the video is all done, you're going to become a piano roll expert and pro using all the shortcuts that I'm about to show you. If you ever watch your favorite producers online, they're always so quick in the piano roll and work really, really fast. That is because they learned all the shortcuts that they need to know. And by learning those shortcuts, you really do work a lot quicker and the ideas come out a lot faster as well. So with that said, after this video, you'll become a piano roll pro expert when it comes to shortcuts and logic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create our create a region for us right here. Let's create a four bar region and I'm just gonna draw out a couple notes so that we have some stuff to work in. Just like that, random lengths and random position. So the first thing I wanna show you, very easy, if you hit Command A on your keyboard, it will select all of those notes, just like that. Command A selects everything. If you wanna select an individual note, all the notes within an individual note, just select the key that it's on. So right here, there's only one. Right there's a better concept. So if I hit C, it's gonna hit both of those and we can adjust from there. All right, now that we got our notes selected right here, let's say I want to transpose this up by semitones. All you gotta do is hold down Option and use your arrow up and down. So Option up and Option down. If you wanna transpose that up by octave, uh, all you gotta press is Shift Option and then arrow up and down. And we can't see it here. Let me just make our piano roll a little bit bigger. And you can push that up and down by one full octave. All right, one of the most important uh, shortcuts, if any, you need to learn is the quantize shortcut. So let's say after recording, you're done and some of the notes are a little bit off. I'm just gonna push some off here. To quickly quantize that, you don't have to pretty much do anything. Just hit Command A to select all your notes and hit the Q button on your keyboard to quantize. As you can see right there, it quickly quantizes to the value that we have set right here. The most important one to use, just remember Q if you remember any of these. All right, so when working in the piano roll, we're always adding ideas, taking away ideas. What I like to do instead of deleting the note, just so I have the information there, I like to just to mute the note. So if I don't like where this is going, I could just hit M on my keyboard and that will mute that note, just like that. If you wanna bring back all of the muted notes that you just muted, you don't have to select each one individually. The quick way to do that is just select Shift plus M. That will select all the muted notes and I could just hit M on my keyboard and that will bring all of those back. Shift M, M brings all of them back. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you here, another really important one that you should remember is the repeat function. A lot of times in music, things do get repeated. So if you just wanna quickly repeat a section, click Command R and you could just repeat that just like that. Once again, Command R. All right, next up, I wanna show you how to align up all the notes so that they're butted up right against each other. All you gotta do is select all of your notes, hit Command A, and then hit Shift and Backslash, and that will force the legato so that every note hits to the next note in line. As you can see right there, once again, that is Shift, Backslash, and it'll force all the notes to hit the next one following it. All right, so the next tip I wanna show you is how to quickly adjust the velocity of a MIDI note. Uh, yes, we can select the note and then move it from here, just like that. But a quicker way to do that is to hold down Control Option. You'll see the little V come up here and we could just go up and down to quickly adjust that velocity. All right, so the last one I wanna show you, let's say we got a recording, probably should record it in, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give ourselves some overlap notes. Sometimes instruments, it doesn't sound good when the notes overlap and they sort of create muddiness in your mix and you wanna pull all those notes back. Yes, you can go ahead and go individually, pull these back like that. But in this case, I'm gonna show you a much faster way. All you gotta do is hit Command A and hit the backslash on your keyboard and that will pull all of those back. Once again, Command A, backslash, and now everything is lined up nicely, no overlap notes. So that is all the pro tips that you should learn when working with Logic's Piano Roll. It will make things a whole lot faster, get your ideas out a whole lot quicker. And once you get really the hang of it, you'll just be like speeding really through the Piano Roll, inputting your notes, just like you see all your favorite producers online. Shortcuts are always key to know. It really does help in the music creation process. I will have all of these shortcuts down in the description box below this video, along with timestamps. So if you do wanna come back to it, just click that. It'll take you right to the spot in the video via the chapter timestamp. 
Um, but these are the tips that, if any, these are the ones you should know in the piano roll. I use these day in and day out, and I feel after you seeing these, it's gonna help you out a lot as well. So that's it for me, guys. If you do have any other shortcuts or tips that you wanna share with the Logic community, please let us know down in the comments below. Happy to carry the conversation down below there if you have any questions as well. But that's it for me. If you did like this video, remember thumbs up and share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.